Welcome to Whitney's channel. Hi guys, hi, my name is Whitney Wiley and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to do a video that is part of a three-part series. I am traveling in just two days to Iceland and Ireland. I'm so excited. I've never been there before. Um, so if you have been there before and you have any good places I should go or more importantly, good places I should eat, then comment down below and let me know. But in this video, I wanted to show you what are my makeup bag essentials when I travel. So I want to show you the things that I know I have to take and things that I can use for multiple areas of the face. So maybe a highlighter that I can use also as an eyeshadow, blah, 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 blah so that I can kind of cut down on all the things that I bring with me on a trip. This one will be my makeup bag essential, and then I'm also gonna put out a video that is going to be my skincare essentials and my toiletries, and then one that is gonna be what I bring on a plane. So basically my carry-on essentials. So if you'd like to see what I bring in my makeup bag, then please keep watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I make videos twice a week, so if you look down below that little red button, if you hit that subscribe button and the bell, it'll notify you every time I put up a new video. So let's get started and see what's in my makeup bag. Okay, let's get started. So for makeup, I used to carry all my makeup in a big bag like this. That was just um, one large compartment. They're kind of dirty, I'll warn you now. And I found that this doesn't work very well for me because um, the makeup just kind of slides all around and glass containers hit each other and I've had things break in here, which is why it is dirty inside. So now I keep my makeup in this travel makeup bag. So this is from Victoria's Secret, obviously. What I like about this bag, they always have these, you know, semi-annual sales too. So if you check them out, these things are like 50 to 75% off, but it has two compartments. So there's two zipper compartments in here. So it seems like it won't do much for your makeup, but it actually has made quite a huge difference because it keeps things separated and from moving all throughout the entire bag, it only has half of the bag to move around. I often will separate different products I like to put glass bottles in a Ziploc bag if I can, just to keep it from getting all over all your other makeup and then you having to sit there and clean it up for the next like two hours. Okay, I'm gonna do things in the order that I actually put on my makeup to make sure that I have everything. That's how I pack to make sure that I don't forget anything. I just pretend I'm putting on a full face of makeup. The first thing I bring are primers. Um, I'm using the Dr. Brand Pores No More primer and this is great for filling in your pores. So I like to use this one to to fill in all of my challenge areas on my face. And then I like to bring a primer that just helps make makeup sticks. I really like this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refine Zone. So this one just kind of helps my makeup to stick um, to my face and helps it last longer. I have several different primers that I like, but I like how this one is nice and small and compact, so it's perfect for traveling. So I bring this one with me. As far as foundations and tinted moisturizers, I try to keep it pretty simple. I bring my Hourglass Stick Foundation because this foundation is very buildable and I can wear it on a light day or a day when I want full coverage makeup. It just depends on how much you put on that really determines the coverage you get and it looks very natural. I also like to bring stick foundations when I travel because there's a guarantee that it won't break in your bag and foundation will be all over your makeup. Okay, as far as concealers, I like to bring three along. I get a little excessive with the concealers, but it's one of my favorite makeup products. So I like to bring the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in shade 30, and this is a very natural looking concealer. Great for just every day, whenever you just wanna do a little bit of coverage. So I like to bring this for light days, like you're walking around, you're sightseeing, you're exploring the city. That's what I will bring with me. Then I'll bring two concealers for more full coverage makeup looks. I like to bring my Naked Skin and then my Tarte. The Tarte especially is a full coverage concealer. This one claims to be as well, but I find that the Tarte one is even more full coverage than Naked. But I love both of these because they do cover up any imperfections, dark circles, um, and they basically just do their job. So when I wanna have a heavier makeup day, like I'm going out that night, these are the concealers that I like to bring. Okay, for face powders, I bring a couple. I am bringing the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. This is just um, a good powder to set my foundation with on areas where I feel like I'm gonna get a little oily, so I like to 
bring this, especially if you're walking around during the day, you're doing a little bit of bite seeing, things like that, then you may wanna set your foundation to make sure that it's not sliding all over your face by the end of the day. I also like to bring my Laura Mercier powder. Now, I must admit, this is not perfect for traveling. It is a little bit of a mess. Luckily, it does not seep out of the container, which is nice, because it is a loose powder, so I never have powder going all over my bag but it is a very chunky product. But unfortunately, I haven't found anything that is much smaller that um, does just as good of a job. I also get a little crazy with my powders too. I like to bring my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in shade Camel, and I use this actually to just carve out my cheekbones. I know that's crazy, I have one powder to do that but um, I like to place this powder underneath contour just to sharpen it up. Okay, the final powder I bring is the Kevin Aquan powder. This is my contour powder, so I use this um, to contour my cheekbones and the perimeter of my face, my nose, so um, I have several contour powders that I like, or a couple actually, but what I really love about this one is it is the most beautiful one as far as getting that perfect shadowy shade on your face, and it is so compact. So it's very tiny, it's perfect for traveling. I cannot live without this powder, so this has to come with me. Okay, next up is brows. So. I like to bring my NYX Micro Brow Pencil with me. This is one of my favorite brow pencils. It has the spoolie on one side and the pencil on the other. So that's great that it kind of comes with a brush. That means I don't have to bring a spoolie brush with me. And then when I want to do a heavier makeup day, I'll use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I have this as well when I want to really carve out my eyebrows. Um, and I wanna do that heavier makeup look. I also like to fill in my brows with powder sometimes on lighter days, so I bring this Becca eyeshadow palette. It's for eyes, but I use it for my brows. So I use this far right shade for my brows, and then I'll use, or the tips of my brows, the ends, and then I will use the other two shades right here for the front part of my brows. And then the great thing about bringing this product is this also doubles as an eyeshadow palette since it is an eyeshadow palette. It kind of eliminates some of the eyeshadows that I need to bring with me because I can now use this for brows and eyeshadow. All right, moving into eyeshadow. So remember we have that Becca palette here that I'm using for brows and eyeshadow, and then I have this Viseart palette that I like to bring. Um, just because it's nice and tiny, it's not my favorite color selection because they are all warm tones. So my Viseart palette has a deep enough brown that you can use and then a few shimmery shades as well. So I basically do very basic eyeshadow looks when I'm on vacation. So I just stick to a very neutral color palette so that way I know that I have the right tools with me to get it done. So I like to bring this one because it's nice and compact. Okay, and now for liner and mascara products, I like to bring a black eyeliner. I'm right now using the L'Oreal Silka Seam Liner in black. And then for mascaras, I bring two, an upper lash line and a lower. So I really am loving this Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara, and this one's in waterproof. So I like to have at least one waterproof mascara with me because if I want to go to the beach or go swimming, then I have one waterproof option. And then I like to bring the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. This one has a great brush for hitting the lower lash line. It's very tiny and slim, so you can get in there and get those baby hairs. So I like to bring this one because it doubles as a lower lash mascara, and then I also can use this on my top lashes as well to just add some volume. So instead of bringing a separate lower lash mas mascara, I bring this one because it works for both. Lastly, with eyeliner, I like to bring a gel liner to get that wing for a smoky eye look. So I have my Inglot gel liner that I bring with me. Those days when you really wanna do that wing cat eye situation. I also like to bring some cream eyeshadow bases. So I bring these MAC paint pots and liners with me. Um, this is in Indian wood. This is the paint pot that I use for all of my eyeshadow bases. So it's just a natural gold hue but this works really well to make all my eyeshadow stick. And I like to separate these because they're all glass, so if there's a lot of glass products, I try to make sure they're not right next to each other. Then I like to bring these two. These are Fluid Lines, which are considered liners with MAC, but these work really great as just a shimmery eyeshadow. So I like to put these on the lid of my eye. I don't really blend them, but I like to pat them in on the lid, and they're really pretty, and they add like a glittery touch to the eye. Okay, for lashes, I like to bring two different pairs. I like to bring my House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. These are my favorite dramatic lash. And then I just like to bring any type of lash that I like that is going to be more of a natural looking lash, as if 
lashes can be natural, but I like to bring um, these Red Cherry eyelashes in number one. These are just a more lighter look, so if I wanna have a lash on, maybe during the day for some reason, then these are what I would wear during the day. Okay, as far as blushes, I like to only bring one blush with me. I do like to switch it up, but you know, when it comes to traveling, it's something that I'm okay using the same blush every day. So I like to use this one from MAC, this is Raisin. It's a matte blush. I like to bring a matte blush because I can take my highlighter and place that over my cheekbones if I ever want a little extra shimmer in my blush. So I just stick with a matte, that way I have the option to go matte or shimmer depending on um, what look I'm doing for the day. So this is just a nice universal color. It looks really well with my skin tone. I also like to bring MAC blushes instead of other companies' blushes like Becca. Um, this is one of my favorite blushes that I'm using at the moment, but I'm not bringing this because I have had Becca products break on me in the past. So any type of powders that I know are prone to breaking. I don't bring them along because it's just not worth the tears of opening up your makeup bag and seeing your you know, $35, $40 blush in pieces. Same goes for highlighters. I am gonna bring the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit with me. This is one of my favorite highlighters right now. What I do like about this is I also double this as an eyeshadow. So notice I really only brought matte eyeshadows. So I like to use these highlighters as shadows. Also, I forgot to mention this Forever Lit Shade really doubles as a inner corner highlight. Okay, I also bring with me some lash adhesives. So I bring my Ardell Lash Adhesive. This doesn't have as strong of a grip as my House of Lashes. Um, I like to bring this one because it sticks and your eyelashes don't go anywhere. Okay, I also like to bring two setting sprays. I got the mini version at the kiosk at Sephora and at MAC, so I bring my MAC Fix Plus, basically like hydrating mist. This helps to just kind of melt all the makeup into the face. And then I use the Urban Decay All Nighter, so this just helps your makeup to stay. I like to bring a couple of liners, so I like to bring a dark brown liner because that'll help any lighter shades blend in with my skin tone. I like to bring a couple of pink liners because I wear a lot of pink. Okay, lipsticks. I like to bring a red lip because, you know, sometimes you just feel like doing a red lip when you go out. This is a mini one. This is my new favorite one from Stila. I am bringing the Charlotte Tilbury Velvet Underground Lipstick in a hot pink. Sometimes you wanna wear a hot pink at night or even during the day. I like to bring some type of nudie type of shade. And then my two favorite glosses, as far as my favorite gloss combination, I should say, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Vintage and then Bite Beauty in Cocoa. Okay, as far as my brushes go, I got this case off of Amazon. I really like this. This is just a brush case that you can use to travel with. So it zips closed to keep everything shut and it has a little pocket on the front if you wanna keep anything in here. This is how I like to take my brushes with me when I travel. So it basically just looks like this. Inside, I have all my brushes lined up, my bigger brushes on the edges. There's a little pocket in here. And then I have my smaller brushes at the top here. I also like to put in this little travel pouch right here any beauty blenders that I wanna bring with me or beauty sponges. So I have my like little L'Oreal sponge, my beauty blender. I keep with me um, a sharpener as well to sharpen any pencils. And then I also like to keep with me any type of tools, like any tweezers or anything that I use to put on lashes. I also take with me, just so you guys know, since I didn't bring any type of brush cleaner, I like to bring the Sephora Color Swatch. So this is something I picked up at Sephora and what it does is it instantly removes shadow color from makeup brushes. So you just take your brush after you're done using it and then you just wipe it like this and this really helps to remove it. You rub it on this little Brillo pad here and it helps to remove the color. And I will keep this in here as well. So I just zip this whole little guy up and take it with me when I travel. All right guys, so that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I bring along on long trips and short trips for that matter. Um, if you have any products that you take that you think are essentials, leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you bring along and maybe it'll you know, broaden my horizons to other things that I need to pack as well as if I need to bring anything more in my suitcase since it's always at 49.5 pounds. Um, but let me know what you bring. And once again, if you have been to Iceland or Ireland, let me know where to go or where to eat. Um, I know I'm probably gonna go to the Blue Lagoon for sure, which I'm super excited about. Um, but I don't really have any places picked out to eat. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. 
please like the video if it was helpful and you enjoyed it and subscribe. I will be putting up more videos. So I'd love to see you in another one and I'll see you next time. Bye.